Hard Rock is the number one theme restaurant in the world and plans to remain there. From a single location in 1971, Hard Rock Cafe has grown to 106 worldwide locations. It's done this by adopting what can best be described as an experience strategy. We even took the doors off of Abbey Road. And they remodeled Abbey Road. These are the original doors that the Beatles went through and many, many other bands. As an industry leader, its strategy has changed with the times. Hard Rock has migrated from a London restaurant modeled on a Tennessee cafe to food with entertainment to food with an experience. Restaurant goers don't just want a meal, increasingly they want an experience and Hard Rock's operations strategy is designed to provide that experience. Orchestrating all this becomes an operations management responsibility. All ten operations management decisions design of goods and services, managing quality, process strategy, location strategies, layout strategies, human resources, supply chain management, inventory management, scheduling, and maintenance can be significant in building that experience. Curious about the operations management activities that define the Hard Rock experience? Let's take a look at a few of them, starting with human resources. The company seeks people who are passionate about music, love to serve, and convey the experience to visitors, according to Jim Knight, manager of corporate training. Yeah, when you start talking about uh, a human resource department that really is a true support center for such a big international company, you kind of have to realize that the cafes and the individuals that work with them could probably stand on their own when we were much smaller. But I think there's a role that human resources now plays to sort of be the conscience of the company and make sure that we're doing the right thing by the people. Um, so, so I don't mind us being a voice for them and doing what we can to help recruit, um, retain, to truly train them, to develop them, to grow them. Anything that we can do to support the individuals I think that's really what human resource is all about. Inventory management also takes on a different meaning at the Hard Rock Cafe. There is, of course, food and merchandise. But Hard Rock also has over $40 million invested in one of the world's largest collections of rock and roll memorabilia inventory, most of which is on the walls of its cafes around the world. Pete Boudreau, CEO, oversees it all. On a memorabilia, we have north of 60,000 pieces and we have a core group of people that work here in Orlando at our, our magnificent warehouse uh, and they've done a great job of, of cataloging every single item every single story with that item and in the, the 106 cafes worldwide in 39 countries they know exactly what is on what wall in what cafe and what have you and that's important uh, one because it's a lot of value that we have out there so it's important that we have the, an inventory system that allows us through technology to bring up and say okay this particular item is in Beijing on the south wall by the stage and so on and what we do with uh, the memorabilia is every five to seven years we take a cafe take all the inventory out of it bring it back to Orlando to refurbish it and then replace it with new gear Finding the perfect location for each cafe is another operations management decision. The company systematically narrows the search from country to city and then precise street corner. It's the job of Oliver Monday, Senior Director of Worldwide Cafe Development, to make the choice. Hard Rock has a, uh, a tremendous brand. We're a global brand. We've been around for 30 years. Um, and part of the reason we've been around for such a long time. I like to think is that we've taken a lot of care and attention in looking at the markets we should expand into. Uh, and it is a very critical decision because it really underwrites and underpins the future uh, success of the Hard Rock brand. If I make a mistake, if I pick a wrong market, if I make a bad decision, uh, that affects us for, for a long time because these are major long-term commitments. We're going into new markets and renting space and signing leases for typically a 10 or a 15, sometimes longer period of time. So once that decision is made, it's there for, uh, 
forever, virtually. Um, and so we have to be very careful. So it is an important uh, strategic exercise to make sure that on a global basis we're looking at the right markets and we're going into the right markets and we're also going in at the right time. Another operations management decision is layout. The company must consider the kitchen flows for food preparation and restaurant and bar layout for maximum revenue. Every piece of the experience strategy, including memorabilia, music, and visuals, takes on a new significance. This means lighting, sound, screens, contemporary music, and circulation paths are designed to show off memorabilia and expose customers to merchandise for sale. The retail shops generate close to half the company's profit and are carefully integrated into restaurant layout, flow, and workstations. Scheduling is another of the 10 operations management decisions. With 23 departments and over 600 people on the payroll, Hard Rock Orlando General Manager Ken Hoffman considers many factors when preparing work schedules. We look at sales. Um, we look at sales for prior year and see what kind of business we did during that week that we're writing the schedule. We also take into consideration any events, community events in the area, seasonality. Um, we also take a look at trend, prior trend for the last couple weeks. And then what we do from that is we come up with a sales forecast. So the sales forecast is, is basically that nucleus that we write the schedule from. And don't forget two other aspects of operations strategy, product design and quality. In Hard Rock's case, the food is the product and its quality must top the charts. Operations personnel constantly review menus and food research is ongoing. Quality surveys are done regularly. If food scores aren't a seven, on a one to seven scale of quality, it's a failure. Establishing quality standards and controls to meet these standards is the key to a successful restaurant. Operations management is an important element in restaurant management, but at Hard Rock, it's the key to providing their unique experience at each and every cafe. reap the benefits of, of the efforts that we put into it. So in, a, in the end, the love you take is equal to the love you make.